Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So from now, I will try to provide you uh, important MCQs on different topics so that you can maximize your score in the actual MCAR PGCT 2021 exam. So before that, if you are new to this channel, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. So in today's video, we are going to see the topic of statistics. So the video is going to take much time so i'll divide the video in two parts we will cover first 50 mcqs in the first part and then the remaining ones will be covered in the second part so without taking much time let's start the video so the first mcq is in symmetric distribution the mean is equals to mode equals to median the second one is the geometric mean of 2 and 8 is the options will be 3 5 2 the answer is none of these so the shoe size of most of the people in india is number seven which of the central tendency value does it represent so we all know the answer is mode because mode is the most repetitive value in a series so the fourth mcq is the middle value of an ordered series is called as the middle value of an ordered series is called as median the fifth mcq is the median can be located graphically with the help of ogives curve then Histogram is useful to determine graphically the value of mode. In case of open end class interval, we cannot calculate we cannot calculate the mathematical average. The value of the series having highest frequency is known as mode. And the ninth one is which one of the following measure of dispersion is independent of unit of measurement of original data. And the answer is coefficient of variation. And the next MCQ is the mean of square deviation about the median is called as variance. Then, which of the following measures of uh, variation or dispersion is most affected by the extreme value? And the most affected by extreme values, the answer is range. The standard deviation of the six observation, that is, pi u five pi into six times, is zero. Then the standard deviation of ten observation uh, of ten observation is fifteen. If pi u is subtracted from each observation, then the standard deviation of new series is the standard deviation of new series is 15. For a series, standard deviation is 6. If all the observations of the series is multiplied by 2, the standard deviation of the new series will be 12. If the maximum value is a set is 100 and its range is 14, then the minimum value of the set is the minimum value of the set is 60. Then if the variance of the series is 25, then the standard deviation of the same series is 5. In case of negative skewed distribution, the extreme values lie in the left tail. Then peakedness of the series is measured by measure of kurtosis. A lack of symmetry is measured by measure of skewness. And most representative value of a series is measured by measure of central tendencies. These three MCQs are important. So please mark them. Then we will see the MCQs on probability of an event. And I must say, last year one question was uh, there, and that question is this: the probability of an event ranges between zero to one. Okay, so twenty-one number MCQ is probability of an event is expressed as the we can express probability as probability as ratio in percentage in proportion. Then this one: the probability of an event ranges between zero to one. Two events are said to be independent if one doesn't affect the occurrence of the other. Then probability of drawing a spade from a well sh shuffled pack of 52 card is and the answer is 1 by 52. When a single die is thrown, the event of getting odd number or even number are mutually exclusive events. Then probability of drawing a king from a well shuffled pack of 52 card is 1 by 13. Probability of drawing a spade card from a well shuffled pack of 52 card is 1 by 4. And when a coin is tossed, the probability of getting either head or tail up is equal to 1. The probability of getting 6 when a die is thrown is 5 by 6. Then an integer is chosen from 1 to 20. The probability that the number is divisible by 5 is 1 by 5. When a coin and a die are thrown simultaneously, the number of all possible events are equal to 12. Then a coin is tossed 3 times. The number of possible events in the sample space are 12. Oh, sorry, it's 8. Then the probability of a sure event is equals to 1. The probability of a null or impossible event is 0. And when 
two coins are tossed the probability of getting two heads up is 1 by 4 so this topic is important guys there might be questions on this one to two question will be there mark my words then we will see mcqs on random variable and mathematical expectation if a random variable takes only a finite or a countable number of values then it is called as discrete random variable then a random variable x which can take any value between certain interval then it is called as continuous random variable a variable whose value is a number determined by the outcome of a random experiment is called a random variable then the probability distribution for a random variable provides a probability for each possible value and that these possibilities must sum to one then if the experiment is repeated under identical conditions and still the outcome of such experiment is not fixed then the experiment is known as random experiment a list of values of a random variable together uh, with their corresponding probabilities of occurrence is termed as probability distribution and then the term probability density function is used for a continuous variable this one is important then the, prob the term probability mass function is used for a discrete variable then theoretical distributions For a binomial distribution mean equals to np and variance equals to npq and the relation between mean and variance that hold is mean is greater than variance then for Poisson's distribution the relation between mean and variance that hold is mean is equal to variance and then uh, when we, uh, we get the binomial distribution under the following conditions and these conditions are the number of trials n is finite and these n trials are independent of each other then the probability of success for each trial is constant then each trial must result in a success or a failure the variance of a binomial distribution is 4 then its standard deviation is equal to 2 the n trials in a binomial distribution are independent and then the mean of mean and variance of a binomial distribution is 8 and 4 respectively then the parameters of the binomial distribution are n equals to 16 and p equals to 1 by 2 and the 50th mcq is the binomial distribution is a discrete distribution okay so these are the 50 most important mcqs and please don't forget to watch the second part of this video and uh, we are going to cover the next remaining mcqs on that video so i hope you like the video and if you find the video informative please do subscribe to my channel so that it motivates me to create more informative videos for you thank you so much for listening patiently and see you in the next video